Hello everybody, welcome to Retro Millennium. My name is Danny, and today I want to show you an awesome feature that pertains specifically to YouTube gaming channels, specifically ones who are doing a lot of live streaming. Now, I've had a lot of people DM us on Twitter asking us about how do we do this feature called multicam streaming. Essentially what this is, is it allows for one channel to have more than one camera angle going at any given point. Now we do this exclusively almost pretty much for every single stream we do other than Wednesdays because there's three members to our channel and one of the three lives out on the west coast while we the other two live on the east coast so I'm gonna show you the feature first if you go over here now this feature is only available on the desktop platform I'm not entirely sure why YouTube hasn't enabled this yet on their mobile platform on the YouTube app or on the YouTube gaming app but I figured it'd be cool to show everybody how it works and then show you how to set it up on your own channel because I think this is a great way for channels to collaborate with one another. That's what we do with all my friends on YouTube and our community that we have and uh, to see other YouTubers hopefully implement it in the future. I don't know why YouTube isn't pushing this. It's one of the coolest features I've ever seen and yet they just they just don't care. I think it's because YouTube doesn't really care about the gaming community, but that's just me. So you can see this is one of our streams where we're just playing uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer and you can see that I'm running right now on one of, the, one of the maps. And then down here where you can see it's like buffering in HD, there's a new icon here. It's like a little briefcase with two arrows. You can click on that and you see how it says, well, I'm hovering on it right now. Switch camera viewing one of two main cameras. You click on that and then you can set up another camera angle. Boom, you click on that, it'll load. You can close that while it's loading. And then it loads Ken's angle. Ken is also one of the three members of our channel and uh, He's the one that lives out in Seattle now. He got a job at Microsoft, so congrats for him. And now he works out there. And essentially, this allows for us to show off multiple people on a channel while they are streaming simultaneously. And if you look at the top left corner of his camera angle right over here, you can see that he has his Discord enabled so you can see who's talking. That's him talking there and me talking lit up in green right here with the little Yoshi icon. And it's it's a super awesome feature for people that want to see what the other channels are doing or what the other users are doing. Like, man, I wish I could see all the other people on your team. Well, now you can. And I'll pause this and I'll show you how it works. It's super easy to set up. You just gotta make sure that you have enough bandwidth to allocate for it essentially if you're streaming from the exact same internet source. I'm not gonna get into that. So you're on your main YouTube channel, main YouTube page right here, right? You go up here and you click on your creator studio. Now this only works for when you are scheduling a stream. So you're gonna go over here into live streaming and then you're gonna go to events. It doesn't work on stream now because you can't set up multiple camera angles. It kind of sucks. But you go to events, right? And this is just a test stream that I have set up. This is a perfect way to show you guys. Um, we're gonna go into edit. Actually, you know what? I'm, yeah, okay, so edit will work. So this is what'll show up when you click create a new event. Then you just, I just pull, just put test here for you. Make sure that your type is set to custom. Set up all your tags, set up your info for any streams you want, set up the time you want it to start. Advanced settings, you know, set up the game title, blah, blah, blah. We'll just say we're playing Black Ops 3. Sure. And then I always set ours for low latency, so it has like a 9 to 12 second latency. Um, save changes, right? For you, it'll say create event. And then you go to ingestion settings. And then right here is where the feature actually exists. So you would select your thumbnail, of course, and I'll just put the revelations one that we have in there for, for an example here. And then once this saves right up here, you're gonna go to your bitrate, and we always stream at 1080p 60. So if you'd like to see HD crispy streams, come check us out, we stream every day. And then uh, we do 60 frames a second. Once both of those are enabled, I always save the changes just because I'm paranoid like that. You copy the stream name, specifically this one. I'm not worried about showing you this one because I'm going to delete this event. You copy this, you paste it back into your streaming software right here, and then you have that camera angle done. Now, right here where it says main camera, next to it on add a camera, you're going to click that. And then once this populates, it's going to be the exact same setup. Thumbnail, you can name this one, which is what we always name it, because that's Ken's that's Ken's YouTube name, Ken's uh, everything, pretty much. It's Twitter, all of it. You select the bitrate, you select the, the frame, frame rate you want, and boom, you have your stream name. And then you're good to go. You send this code right here, 
to whoever the other channel is going to be. So I would send this one to Ken. He would put it into his OBS, and then you hit save changes. And now he has his. And then we're gonna go into the live control room. Now, it says no data here. I can't show you because my OBS is currently recording, but just like normal when you're uh, scheduling an event, you hit start streaming and it's gonna send data. You do need all camera angles to be sending their data first in order to start a stream. Otherwise, the stream will not start until it sees all signals being sent. So essentially, if say it's me, Ken, Rob, and Melissa from Cocktails and Consoles, um, all put uh, a camera angle on this stream, you have to have all four OBS or whatever software you're using sending that signal to this event for it to work and start. Otherwise, the event will not work until they all start. And that's pretty much it. That's the entire way you use this feature. It's a really small but super cool convenient feature for every YouTuber to use. Um, they finally updated it now where you can use uh, different bit rates. They used to have it so it could only be you're streaming at 1080p, only everybody can stream at 1080p or, or not. Now we've actually confirmed that we can do 1080p, 720p, any different bit rate you want, which is pretty sweet. So you can have multiple camera angles at different ingestion settings and everyone can actually stream together. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about it, feel free to leave a comment below. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We stream every day. We have daily Let's Play episodes. I love helping people make people laugh. Uh, again, any questions, leave a comment below. I will reply to you and answer any questions you have. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.